Welcome back with an update on Hurricane Ian with 120 mile an hour winds. It actually got weaker. Um, I guess right, uh, something to do with mostly the I wall replacement cycle that does, um, and it did make impact with the truck, the dry Tortugas National Park. It did surpass that at around nine. Same wind speed but a little bit stronger so it did get a little weaker which is interesting 130 mile an hour winds um for cat four and in 125 mile an hour winds that far inland so cat three that far inland 125 mile an hour winds so we're looking at a cat four landfall for sure um but now it's trying to aim south of murdoch so that could be good for them in terms of storm surge, but we're still looking at major storm surge in this little bay area. We're looking at major major storm surge basically from Tampa down to, I want to say the Keys, towards the Keys. Um, but now I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Fort Myers landfall. Um, so that would be a definitely an issue there. Um, but 125 mile an hour winds, 70 mile an hour wind tropical storm going by uh, Orlando, then just going straight out to sea from in the New Smyrna, well, leaving Florida through New Smyrna Beach. Um, maintaining this strength may get stronger as it's in the water, um, but weakening after landfall in Savannah. Um, but yeah, 35 mile an hour winds. Tropical depression, and we're looking at post-tropical with 30 mile an hour winds, oh, well, along the Tennessee-North Carolina border. Um, so this is an interesting situation. It seems to want to more lean that direction. Stronger landfall in Florida, and trying to re possibly re-strengthen in the Atlantic Gulf Stream area. Um... This would not be a good thing for Georgia, South Carolina, because you're looking at a tropical storm landfall at least. Looking at 50 mile an hour winds, I could see it going up to 60. Maybe worst case scenario, pushing low end cat one with 75, 80 mile an hour winds. And, but yeah, this has gone through eye wall issues here, so it is weakening briefly, but the wind reach is going to grow. The wind field is going to grow. And now we got tropical storm warnings going all the way up into South Carolina. Um, may see tropical storm watches being issued as far north as North Carolina. Um, but this is due to this, this situation here. Um, so we're looking at models next. And wind. Um, so yeah, with that, that does seem to be a fright now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.